So over the summer, I was burnt out. I crashed and burned, and all of my projects really took a hit. I just kind of just gave up and was just not really working on anything. And I felt miserable because of it. And it was really terrible. And, and throughout this process of kind of like getting back into my normal and getting back into the swing of things, I've gone minimalist. I've got rid of all my extra tech products and stuff that I just don't need anymore. And I revamped my task manager. Now, my task manager is probably one of those things that you're thinking like, why? why that's not that big of a deal. Like, you just write down what you need to do and you do it. But... That, there's more to it than that. See, the task manager for me runs my life. When I wake up every day, I look at my task manager, I see what's going on, and then I do what's on that list. My task manager is my life. But I got out of the habit of that, and I honestly didn't have a very good system. On my podcast, A Slab of Glass, my co-host Jeff Perry, he challenged me to read a book called Getting Things Done. And this book is by David Allen. It's kind of one of those productivity books, and normally I am not for that. But there's a lot of things I got out of it. And I kind of want to share how my task manager is working for me now. And I think this might be kind of important. Now the app that I'm using in this video is things three, but the stuff that I'm going to talk about can kind of work for any task manager. I'm going to be talking a lot of automation and a lot of shortcut stuff. Honestly, I think it can apply to anything. So let's kind of get into it. The first tenant of GTD is capture. The idea behind this is get everything out of your head and into your task manager. This could be a sheet of paper or an app, doesn't matter. For me, I add everything into my inbox in Things 3. Whether it's a simple task, a project, a bill that needs to be paid, everything goes into inbox. This is so I can quickly get things out of my head. And if I don't get it out of my head, then the task will never get done because I will forget about it. I use a shortcut to quickly take care of this. The shortcut simply asks for input for the action, then makes a task for whatever I put in there, and then it'll drop it into things. This way I can quickly write down a task and move on to what I'm doing next. I don't even have to open my task manager. I have this shortcut available in every place possible, widgets, Spotlight, Siri, even a folder on my dock. It's a very important shortcut for me to be able to get to quickly no matter where I am in the OS. Another shortcut that I use, and I've talked about this one before, but it'll take URLs and save them into a task for me to come back to them later and follow up with. I'll go over in just a bit why I like to have everything in my task manager, but it really helps me out when I'm going back through and following up on things to have it in one application and not have a lot of info spread up across multiple places. The exception to my rule about putting everything in my inbox is my shortcut to add items to my grocery list. This shortcut will ask for input, then I'll put in the item that I need to get, and then I'll simply add it to my shopping list project. Anything added via the shortcut will always be long in the shopping list project. This way I don't have to worry about checking my inbox if I go to the store right after work or something. I know everything in that project is up to date. Tags are something I've been trying to get better at using. I like using tags to categorize tasks or put a location as to where a task needs to be done. So say I need to pick something up at Target, I'll put the Target tag on it. Or say something is for me to follow up with later, I'll just put follow up on there. I also try and keep tags as broad as possible. If they get too specific, you'll just end up with hundreds of them. And that just makes a hard time picking from them. Tagging is a great way to stay organized if you don't like using lots of different folders or have broad categories of things. After you've captured everything, the next step is to clarify and organize. In the book, these are really two different steps, but I find doing them at the same time to be a bit quicker. Again, I'm not doing strict GTD. These are the steps that took me the most amount of time to figure out how I wanted them to work. What I've settled on is one or two times a day, I sit down and go through my inbox, and I process what's there. It could be as little as two or three tasks, or it could be up to a dozen. They can be simple tasks or big projects but I like to give myself enough time so that I can put thought into every single one of them, no matter how many there are. As I go through the task, I'm filling out any notes, checklists, assigning due dates if needed, and moving them into the appropriate project. Most of my tasks will end up in the next step area. This covers pretty much my whole life. These include video, podcast, home, and personal stuff. I will move the task to the correct project folder once everything is filled out. If it's a task like an idea for a video or something, I'll move it to the ideas folder. This way I can kind of keep those separate. These aren't projects I'm actively working on, but I may want to come back to them at a later date. 
These projects are also generated with shortcuts, so they have a preset checklist built in. I still have them go to my inbox instead of going to the ideas folder because I may want to start working on them right away. In Things 3, you can have sub areas in projects. Depending on the project, I may have a few of these. A common one is reoccurring tasks. I like to have them in their own area and I can keep them separate. It makes it a little bit easier. I'm still playing around with how I organize things and I don't think this is the final evolution of this, but for right now, everything is working as designed and I can get through my task manager. Review is a huge part of GTD. The idea behind it is you set some time aside to go through all of your tasks and projects and figure out where you are with them. The book recommends doing this once a week, but since I have so many different side projects, a day job, and a personal life, I felt this wasn't working. I found out doing many reviews every day was helping even more. I set up a shortcut for this using Launch Center Pro. Launch Center Pro will send a notification at 6 a.m. If I swipe on that notification, it'll take me to the Anytime section in Things 3. This is about the time I get home from the gym and I'm ready to sit down and start working. I also have Do Not Disturb on until 6.30 a.m. on all my devices. So this gives me plenty of time to get through all of this stuff before I start getting messages. I'll then go through my five main projects of my inbox. Once I feel I have an understanding of what's going on in my day, I get to work. Every Sunday afternoon, I sit down and do a full review. This means I go over every nook and cranny of my task manager. I figure out where I am with each and every task, idea, project, and if it's not relevant anymore, it gets deleted. This really helps make sure there's nothing slipping through the cracks, and any old ideas that I may have forgotten about, it resurfaces, and maybe this is now the appropriate time to take care of those. I think after capturing everything, the review is the second most important step in the whole process. This is definitely the easiest step to skip, but when I've done that in the past, it's broke my whole system. The final step may be the most obvious, do the task. For me, I like to pick one big project to focus on and have three or five smaller projects to knock out in any given day. This is about a full day's worth of work for me, but everyone is different. I try not to jump between projects as well. I get the best results when I can focus on one thing and work through it. There's not much to say here, but it's definitely important that you do your task and not get hung up on what productivity tool you need to use. GTD is not enough for me to keep focus. I need a routine, and I have to stick to it too. For me, it's getting up at 5 a.m. and going to the gym. At that time, I have adrenaline pumping, and I'm thinking about my day and what I want to accomplish. Days I go to the gym, I'm a lot more productive than days I don't. And I'm not saying going to the gym will fix everything for you, but try and find something to do every single day, away from technology, away from people, and just think about what you want to achieve for that day. I think I'll always be tweaking my productivity system, trying to maximize the stuff I can get done. My old boss would say every day there's not enough hours in the day, and that really hit home for me. So take advantage of the hours you do have.